just flown from Osaka to Okinawa with Jetstar Japan, very good flight. And we've just got to transfer now from the airport to our hotel. And we're staying at Oily DHS Resort, which is a bit further out from Naha, which is the, the main city of um, Okinawa. Um, but the one benefit we do have is that we're right next to the beach, which in the morning when it's bright, we'll be able to see uh, from our balcony here. But yeah, this is the route. Very spacious compared to what we've had uh, previously, so uh, we'll make the most of this. I can't wait for the view tomorrow morning. So, we got a few surprises as well when we checked in. We uh, got some breakfast included, which we didn't know we had. Um, it's a very basic breakfast, but it's something that we'll certainly uh, take advantage of. And um, also, there's free laundry as well. Obviously, there's travelling full time, laundry is uh, something that we need. Um, but sadly, the swimming pool at the top isn't open uh, for another few weeks yet due to uh, it still being the winter season, so we're going to have to go on the sea. And we can ride some bicycle. And ride some bicycles. I forgot about the bicycle. Yay. We can rent them from the desk, the front desk, and ride around. So, yeah. Exciting. Exciting. Okinawa. So it's our first day here. Uh, we're talking about beautiful views yesterday on the rooftop of the hotel. Look at it. You can see uh, Araya Beach, which is just there. And then you can see the rest of the island there. If I'm not wrong, this way is supposed to be the American village. So after three weeks exploring Japan, mainly cities, you know, uh, Tokyo, uh, Osaka, Kyoto, we decided to come to Okinawa to slow things down. Um, so we've just been for food before to that place called um, the Sunrise Shack. Uh, it's only like a few minutes away from our hotel and it was really good. You know, you get your avocado on toast, smoothies and uh, Buddha bowls as well. So a really good vibe. renting some bikes from the hotel as well so I guess we're just gonna um, have a ride around the this area yeah there's the American village not far from here and just uh, enjoy and go to the beach and uh, just take things uh, as they come So we made it to the American village. It's quite a, cute, um, a cool place. There's so many restaurants around and shops. So we're just walking around and see uh, what's here really because we didn't really look into it. So. I think here yeah, you, you can crave any type of food you want because uh, there seems to be so many different places tacos, pizza, burgers, uh, sushis, any, anything you, you fancy. There's even uh, a vegetarian cafe, so I mean, uh, everything's here.
next step of taking it easy, having a nice cold drink facing the sea. After a nice walk, um, a nice iced coffee, uh, we're ready to get back on the bike and explore a bit more. So this morning we are on our way to the Kemara Island. When we initially looked into Okinawa, it's the place that we first saw. So for this we have to stay on, we have to get on an early bus to get to the uh, Tamari ferry terminal. And then we have to get on a boat uh, to, the, to the island. So it's going to take 35 minutes ride on the bus and then another 40 minutes on the uh, ferry. So we're waiting for the bus uh, 63, there should be one at 22 past 7 and then we should get to the um, ferry terminal just before 8. Our ferry is at 9 o'clock so at least it gives us time to uh, get there and also get our tickets because we had to um, kind of reserve our tickets online but we haven't paid for them just yet so we don't have the tickets, we have to get them when we get to the terminal. So we just left the, bo the bus, uh, it cost 590 each. Uh, it was different in terms of tickets, so when you get on the bus, they give you a ticket and when you're on the bus, you can see, you've got a number on your ticket and then there's a screen with your number and the price increases, you know, when you're on your way and every time you stop somewhere. So you get a ticket when you get in and then you pay at the end, which is different from England because in England you just have to pay for one ticket when you get in. But uh, it was quite easy. So now we're just uh, arriving at the terminal and uh, we'll be uh, buying our tickets. So tickets were about 4,800, which is about 35 pounds for both ways. And it also includes an um, eco tax of 100 yen. So not too bad. So we actually booked the uh, fast ferry. So one takes 70 minutes, but ours take only 30 minutes, so that's good. We'll be there quite uh, quick. Um, it was pretty straightforward, just outside the uh, ferry terminal, so we are only 10 waiting to go.
for the bus ride only took about 10 minutes oh. and it cost 400 yen each. We're on the beach now, it's so beautiful. I mean, look at it. Looks like um, there's a viewpoint, so I think we just have to go up some stairs and we'll be able to see um, a really nice view. The water is so blue, I mean this place is amazing. Well I can't wait to get up here, I think it's going to be stunning. Some more stairs. This is a paradise. Like people think about Japan, you think about temples, Tokyo, Kyoto, you know, like animated streets, but this is, this is amazing. We're so happy that we're here because I mean, not many people know about places like this and it is truly beautiful and it's really quiet as well like uh, I mean yeah I'm just really amazed can't wait to uh, put my toes in the water even though it's really cold because you know it's so blue that you I kind of just stay out out of the water so yeah just amazed this is one of the reason you know we travel it's to find places like this mm -hmm. places you don't think about and no pretty much no one know about it so it's just incredible mm. Looking at these flowers, um, I think they are Karamatsu Tsuji. I wondered if they were Taiwan cherry, but I think they might be Karamatsu Tsuji. It's almost lunch time now, so we'll go and get some food. I think I saw a cafe which is called Octopus Cafe. It's only a minute away from here, so we'll see if there's any. Anything I can hit there. Oh. We just finished our food. I don't think it was the place I mentioned before because it looked closed so we ended up in another restaurant we had some uh, fried vegetables and rice uh, it was really tasty to be fair and um, we only end, we only paid about 900 each for our dish which is probably the cheapest we paid so far especially because the quality was there but now we're back to the beach um, I'm renting some snorkeling um, sets so I can go and see uh, some fish. Wish me good luck because apparently the water is like really, really, really cold. I haven't put my feet inside just yet, but um, I think it's gonna be challenging. But we'll see. It's my time to die in freezing water. How is it?
Is he warm? So while Sylvie's out snorkeling, I'm just going to take it easy here on on the beach and just enjoy the surroundings and uh, make the most of it before we have to head back on the bus to the boat in a few hours. I saw maybe five or six fish, one like black with the white dots, some colourful and then some white ones, but not too many. So we've just spent the afternoon here on this beach but there is another one which is called Tukashiku Beach which is um, here the main beach here, the main two are this one and then the other one. Uh, this one so is accessible with uh, the local bus that we paid this morning. But the other one if you want to go on and spend some time there you have to either rent a car or pay for a taxi because there's no local bus going there. So this one is, uh, I, I guess this one is easier to access. So it's almost the end of our day to the island here. Um, we're heading back to the bus shortly to get on the boat back to uh, Okinawa. And then it's been a really good day. Uh, great to come and see see this place i mean initially this week we weren't even well we wanted to try and do something didn't we but we yeah. weren't sure what to do or how to do it but eventually we uh came to a decision that we wanted to come here then we figured out how to do it and um completed our last full day in japan yeah. with this with this trip so yeah really cool